For PokerGaming.com, this is James Gwill. Event number 41 of the 2010 World Series of Poker was the $1,500 Pot Limit Omaha High Low Event. This event started with 847 players looking to take down the bracelet and a top prize of $245,871. James Dempsey and Barry Greenstein were among the chip leaders after day one as 157 players came back on day two to battle for the money. 81 players made the money in this event. Among those that finished in the money were Chris Ferguson, David Rabbi Danheiser, and Mike the Mouth Matisau. Day 3 started with 15 players left in the field, and the two biggest names left were Barry Greenstein and Phil Helmuth. Helmuth was not only going for his 12th career bracelet, but also his first non-hold'em bracelet. Barry Greenstein ultimately finished in 12th place, while Helmuth made the final table of this event. Mandy Thomas became the fourth woman this year to make the final table of a WSOP Open event. Ryan Karp started the final table as the chip leader, and the final nine players included the aforementioned Ryan Karp, Phil Helmuth, Mandy Thomas, Michael Chappas, Anders Taylor, Ben Lamb, John Edigji, and John Gottlieb. Phil Helmuth fell short of his 12th bracelet and ultimately finished his final table in 7th place. Heads up play was between John Gottlieb and Steve Jelinek. Jelinek started heads up play with a chip lead, but, Got but Gottlieb battled back to pull within 25,000 of Jelinek. The final table of, the, of this event saw Gottlieb move all in pre flop with Ace of Diamonds, King of Hearts, Nine of Diamonds, Five of Clubs, and Jelinek called with Ace of Spades, the Ace of Hearts, the Queen of Diamonds, and the Four of Hearts. The board missed both players, and Jelinek's aces were enough to make him our champion. Steve Jelinek is the Event 41 champion. He took home $245,871 and the coveted gold bracelet. For more, stay tuned to PokerGaming.com as we bring you recaps and coverage from the 2010 World Series of Poker.